Welcome everyone, this is Zong Ta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2023, specifically the control fill patterns with family parameters new enhancement. Here I am in Revit 2023, I have a Revit model open, and I have this family that I've built, which is a custom bench. And if we select it, we can see over here under materials and finishes, under instance parameter, I can click inside and switch it to something else now. Uh, maybe, for example, I switch to concrete, and you can see that it'll get updated. See? And let's go ahead and update the other ones, too. So one is concrete. Let's do another one, say diagonal small, and then do this one as being the shingle one, just for the heck of it. And so you can see how they get updated. So how did we do this? When you work with Revit 2023, select the family, and it doesn't have to be a new 2023 family. It can be an existing 2022, an older family. Once you open it up in Revit 2023, you can have that functionality. So I'm going to select the family. I'm going to click Edit Family to open it up. This is what the family looks like. And what we're talking about, if we go into the plan view, is that we're dealing with filled regions. So I created three of them, one for this slat, one for this slat, and one for this slat down here. And if I select it, you can see, um, let's tab into it. You can select it, you can see that it's a filled region. And if we uh, edit the boundary, it goes into sketch mode. You see the black lines that represent the boundaries. And when we finish it, if we go into the edit type window for that filled region, where it says foreground fill pattern, all I did was click this little button right here to associate the family parameter to a new parameter that I created called filled region one of three, two of three, and three of three. And when I did that, if I go and go up to here at the family types window, you can see we have these parameters created. Um, filled region one of three, two of three, and three of three. And if I click this little pencil symbol, you can see that it's a family parameter. That's the name. I set it as instance, so I can control them individually. And it automatically is grouped under materials and finishes. So that's all you have to do. Once you create it like this, save the family, load it back into the project, and then update your data within the Revit model. And it gets updated. So that's the new feature for working with the fill patterns for families as a family parameter. As always, if you have a question, just reach out to me. Other than that, thank you very much for watching.